in general, we no longer cover every app update that comes out as it prevents us from covering as many apps as we'd like. Some updates, though, are simply too exciting to ignore. For this reason, we'll be discussing the latest updates in Notful 1.2.8 and Nibo 3.5. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Before we get started, we would like to take a moment to thank the developers of Nibo, Liquid Text, Kyoko Flashcards, and Notful. Their generous donations and ongoing collaborations are crucial for this channel. Many of you guys have asked us if we receive payment from the developers of the apps we review. And to answer that, most of our videos are not sponsored unless labeled as such. Not all developers whose apps we review support us. For this reason, we would like to publicly thank the developers who support our efforts to replace every paper on every desk in the world, one video at a time. Notful's update is by far the smallest, but very exciting nonetheless. We have a zoom tool in the app. Finally, it has quite a remarkable zooming range. We expect nothing less from Notful considering how it zooms in on pages. For those of us who have been waiting for a zoom tool in Notful, it's finally here. It has auto advance. Notful's dedication to minimalism is incredible. The app doesn't have a setting to turn off auto advance, but you can technically turn it off if you want. All you have to do is make the auto advance section barely noticeable so you can reduce it until it's almost invisible. What are the chances you'll be writing on that tiny little edge on the screen? You can use the navigation arrows to move the zoom window manually. You can also just position it where you want it. A page margin can be added to set the starting point for your auto advance. You can also add your writing tools to the zoom window toolbar. These would be your pen, highlighter, eraser, and lasso tools. And lastly, your tools can be placed either on the right or left side of the screen. We appreciate the zoom feature because it has been shown to improve handwriting for some users. We also believe it will significantly improve the app's palm rejection, an issue that the palm rejection setting hasn't been able to resolve to our satisfaction. We couldn't be more thrilled. Neighbor 3.5 unlike the Note 4 update, has been around for a while and includes a number of welcome improvements. For us, the most exciting feature is the true dark mode. Not many note-taking apps have it, so we're always excited to see it. When you switch to dark mode, the colors and page backgrounds in your notes adjust accordingly. However, it will not alter your PDF, which is perfectly acceptable. Even if you could, you probably wouldn't want to convert your PDFs, or would you? We have never had any page customization options in Nebo before. Their version 3.5 takes the first step in that direction with the addition of page backgrounds. There are now eight different page colors. Even though this isn't a major change, it does give us hope that perhaps more page customization options are on the way. They also changed the names of the app's pages. The regular Nibo pages for your handwriting conversions are now called documents. Notes are the new name for the infinite freeform pages. Publishing is now called create link, where you generate links to share your files with others online. The user interface for this function has been optimized and made easier to use. It's now simpler to restrict access to your notes 
and choose who you want to give access. This knowledge base bar keeps showing up below our toolbars, which is distracting. Having the option to dismiss or close it would be greatly appreciated. If they want this to be easily accessible in the workspace, maybe they could move it to the three dots icon after our preferences or under settings on the homepage. This brings us to the end of this video. We we'll hope you found it useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let us know what other apps you'd like us to cover on this channel. You can also check out our website for app user manuals or our online shop for our digital notebooks. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.